well, 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 we have made it. It is finally time for the NFL season. And yeah, I haven't really made too many videos talking about the offseason, but it doesn't really matter at this point. What matters right now is that we have football. You know, college football is already back. We've played about nine or ten games, and... You know, Thursday night, we get to see the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes' new $500 million contract, 10 years, I believe it is. You know, Andy Reid and some of his assistants got extensions and everything, and the Chiefs still look like they're going to be the favorites in the AFC. It looks like it's going to be the Patrick Mahomes show out in the AFC now. Now that Tom Brady is gone, we'll talk about Tom Brady a little bit later. Um, Houston has some defensive issues, and they've lost DeAndre Hopkins in a dumb trade. Bill O'Brien is doing you know things as the general manager now, um, and I don't know. I don't think you know Houston has enough to really gauge Kansas City. I think Kansas City will win this game you know, on Thursday night. Um, but we have, you know, other big games as well. Um, of course, our rivals, and if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan like I am, um, you know, our rivals, the Washington football team, we can't call them the Redskins anymore because, um, yeah. Um, but the Washington football team, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what in the world the team name is going to be first off there's all sorts of things wrong with Washington the Eagles are injured to all hell again you know Carson Wentz has been injured at some point you know Ron Rivera's got cancer and stuff like that uh, you know Dwayne Haskins and Chase Young are in Washington but I mean it doesn't really matter I think the Eagles will defeat Washington pretty easily you know, I think it'll be another bad year for, you know, Washington. Um, that That's just being completely honest. It's a reboot for the football team. It's a reboot for them. They need, they need a lot of things to go right if they want to win more games. And I think, you know, it's not going to happen in week one. And the Eagles, you know, the Eagles are... There's something, they, they're a bit of an enigma, they've got some things going, but, you know, you know, they got some things going on defense, you know, they get, still have Carson Wentz, but, you know, he's been iffy because of all the injuries and stuff like that, but I think the Eagles will win that game anyway. It pains me to say it because I'd rather have it be a tie. Um, let's see. We have the Dolphins taking on the Patriots. Now, you know, the Patriots have Cam Newton, you know. You know, Bill Belichick and the Patriots have lost a lot of guys due to the COVID-19, you know, thing, you know, just ravaging our country again. You know, hate to, hate to have to keep saying it every video, but, I mean, it's true. And, I mean, a lot of players have left and have said, no, we're not playing this year. Um, so, but it looks like the Dolphins will stick with Fitz Tragic, um, not Fitz Magic, Fitz Tragic, because let's face it, you know, sometimes the man can be magical, sometimes the man can be tragical. So, no Tua right now for the Dolphins, and, <sighs> I do think the Patriots will have, you know, um, it'll be something. Uh, they'll probably beat the Dolphins. I mean, this just is what it is. But, I mean, come on. The Patriots have a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. So, um, what about the Packers? What about the Vikings, you know? Um, you know, I, I don't really see too much going on with this one or either, you know, Packers still have Aaron Rodgers. You know, the Vikings still have Kirk Cousins. You know, yeah, the Vikings have lost some players, and you know, but 
I mean, you know, they got they got the running game going. They got things, you know, looking nice. So I think that'll be a tight game, you know, out there in Minnesota. <laughs> you know, but that one's not really, you know, I'm not not really too keen on looking my eyes at. We got the Colts and the Jags. Colts got Phillip Rivers now, so, you know, it's going to be something interesting. Um, you know, it, it, he's also got the Forrest Buckner at the defensive end, you know, it, 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 and on the defensive front seven, I mean. But, I mean, Jacksonville has Gardner Minshew. But, I mean, that, that really doesn't mean too much because Gardner Minshew is still kind of unproven at this point. You know, he's still got some time, still needs to work on some things. And the Colts, you know, they just are looking pretty nice right now. They're looking pretty nice. And I think, you know, they will have some things going on with, you know, the AFC South, you know, not looking like it's going to be Houston's anytime soon, you know, because I think Houston has a lot of problems right now. Yeah, Deshaun Watson got, you know, a big contract extension, but he needs help. He needs, he needs help around him that can make him even better than he already is, you know. Um, we also got the Bears and the Lions. Now, I don't know why Mitchell Trubisky is still the starting quarterback for the Bears. It doesn't make any sense. You know, but I mean, Nick Foles isn't really the guy either. You know, he had a disastrous experiment last year. Why it's still have Matthew Stafford? I don't know why Matthew Stafford is still on the Lions. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, Lions got DeAndre Swift, you know, and Chicago's got their defense still, but I mean, Again, you know, it, it's just two teams on a sad, sad situation right now. Um, and I don't think these two teams will sniff the playoffs at all this year, you know. Because, uh, I mean, you know, Mitchell Trubisky should have been gone. He should be, you know, somewhere else right now, you know. But, I mean, that's just me. That's just me, you know. Uh, boy, man, we got the Raiders the Las Vegas Raiders and the Carolina Panthers. You know, Carolina's not looking too pretty. All they have is Kish, Christian McCaffrey. Um, you know, everybody's gone. Keekley's gone. Greg Olson's gone. Cam Newton gone. Ron Rivera gone. Uh, you know, and the Raiders still rolling out with Derek Carr. You know, but I mean, it's okay. It's okay. So will the Raiders... Will the Raiders, you know, beat the Panthers? I don't know. But, you know, it might be a win for the Raiders. It might not be, but, I mean, come on. The Panthers just aren't looking too good. They didn't have the greatest season last year, and they might not have a good season this year. So, I don't know as far as that goes. We have the Jets and the Bills. Oh, boy. Oh boy, Sam Darnold. He's got to improve. You know, the Bills have Stephon Diggs now. You know, the Bills are a play were a playoff team last year. The Bills just look good. You know, they're looking good right now. They are looking great. You know, Josh Allen has been he he hasn't been the greatest, but he's done just enough right now. And he will definitely improve as the season goes on, I think. And the Bills, I'm thinking the Bills could have a shot. They could win the division for the first time in a long time. You know, because it's been Patriots, Patriots, Patriots for years and years now. And I think the Bills have the best shot at winning the division, you know, this year. Because, I mean, I don't think the Dolphins and the Jets are going to do anything about it, you know. Um, then we got the Browns, Baker Mayfield and company, you know, and, you know, I don't, I don't know what in the world's going on there. Um, in Cleveland, I think, you know, things are, you know, looking interesting right now. Um, 
for the Browns, but I mean, I just don't think they have enough. Lamar Jackson and company, they got, they've got so much. I mean, now they got J.K. Dobbins on the offense to help Lamar Jackson out. You know, things are looking pretty for the for the Ravens right now. Things are looking super pretty. <laughs> And, you know, the Ravens are going to run it down your throat in that pistol sets, you know, mostly. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun watch to see, you know, the Ravens, you know, watch and see Lamar Jackson throw the ball up and down the field. He will have an even better year, too. I think, yeah, he had a little groin injury, at, you know, during training camp and practices and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's okay. You know, Lamar Jackson does what he does best. You could guarantee that. Then we have the Seahawks and the Falcons. You know, the Falcons are still trying to improve things. You know, they've been having some bad years since, you know, 28-3. Um, um, but, you know, as long as Russell Wilson and company, you know, keep on going, um, it's, it's going to be another year where the Seahawks will make the playoffs. I can guarantee you that. They're not, they're not out of the woodworks yet. Um, you know, as long as Russell Wilson's there, the Seahawks will continue to be back in the playoffs pretty much every year. I can guarantee you that. The Falcons need to improve a lot of things. And I don't know if they did that this offseason. You know, you know they, didn't, they didn't get rid of Dan Quinn because, I mean, you know, after a Super Bowl collapse like that in a season like what the Falcons had last year, You know, the defense ain't looking too pretty, and the offense is trying to rebuild itself, you know, with Matt Ryan still there and things just not looking the greatest. I mean, it just is what it is right now. Then we have the Cardinals and the 49ers. The Cardinals, Kyler, Kyler Murray, you know, Cliff Kingsbury. It's going to be an interesting year. I think the Cardinals will improve a little bit, not too much. Uh, the 49ers... You know, Jimmy Garoppolo, Kyle Shanahan, you know. Whew, boy. You know, George Kittle. Whew. Whew. But they got, you know, yeah, they lost the Forrest Buckner on the defensive side. But, man, mostly everybody's back, you know. 49ers should take care of this one easy. This is a pretty confident pick, I, I can tell you right now. Um. Uh, You know, the 49ers are going to be at home, too. So, you know. Whew. Boy. So that's going to be fun to watch. It, I mean, it, it's 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 a little bit fun, you know, too. You know, to see the Cardinals have DeAndre Hopkins. But, I mean, I don't know if that's going to be enough. You know, I don't know if that's going to be enough for the Cardinals. You know, and, and then and then we have, you know, late on... In the day, we have a couple of games later in the day, as usual. Uh, we got the Buccaneers and the Saints. Oh, boy. Drew Brees still there in New Orleans. You know, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have gotten a lot of guys. They've gotten a lot, a lot of guys from the offseason. Tom Brady is, you know... He's a, he's a buccaneer now. He's the way to retire in Florida. I guarantee you that. Um, so, you know, the Saints, they've been trying to reach the Super Bowl for years and years now. And I think their, their window, you know, with Drew Brees, you know, retire. He's going to inevitably retire. And I believe he's going to, like, work for, like, NBC or something like that. Um, he's inevitably going to retire. And as long, you know, is he still playing at the high level that he's been? You know, yeah, we had a couple weeks with Teddy Bridgewater under center, but as long as Drew Brees is playing at the high level that he's been playing at, you know, it is going to be one heck of a game for the Saints. And they could, you know, run away with the NFC South if Brady and company don't get it together. And, you know, I think Brady has to adjust a little bit to Tampa Bay's offense because, I mean, it just is what it is. Um, because, I mean, it, it, it's just the way it is. I mean, you look at 
I mean, you don't really see, you know, so much intrigue as much as, you know, there's just going to be so much going on. There's a lot of storylines in this game, and it's hard to follow for the Bucks and the Saints. It's going to be hard to follow. And we so happy to see, you know, this game as the game of the week at 325 or 4.30 or wherever, you know, if you live on the East Coast. So it's going to be a fun game. I think, you know, you know, I think, you know, the Saints, you know, might win this game. But, you know, you, you, can't, you can't be surprised if, if the Bucks pull it out, too. Um, and as far as other games go, we got Joe Burrow. It's Cincinnati. Joe Burrow with the Chargers, you know. You know, they've got Tyrod Taylor now. But um, as the quarterback, you know. But Joe Burrow, as long as the offense looks pretty, you know, like he was passing at LSU, I think he'll be fine. You know, he's got a lot of things to still learn. But, you know, A.J. Green is still there. I don't know why A.J. Green is still in Cincinnati, but it's okay. Um, you know, the L.A. Chargers, I don't know right now. I don't know. So, it's going to be a long season for the Chargers, I think. You know, Tyrod Taylor just doesn't scream, you know, a playoff caliber quarterback to me. He doesn't scream that. Um, keep on going here and let's see if there's I know there's another couple of games left here um, well we might as well talk about the Monday night games first we got the Titans and the Broncos Adrian Peterson just signed with the Titans and everything like that you know Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill got a lot of money in the offseason a lot of money. Drew Locke, you know, John Elway's new big-time quarterback project. Uh, he's going to have some help. Drew Locke is going to have some help. Um, Melvin Gordon, Jerry Judy, you know. And it, it, it's, it's going to be, you know, going to be something. Let me tell you, Mont Miller is still there. Uh, and the defense looks to be improved for the Broncos. Titans, um, you know, it's going to be a run heavy approach, let me tell you. It's going to be Derrick Henry, you know, if he gets, you know, if he gets out in open space and stuff like that, he starts abusing players like he did last year. Uh, the Earl Thomas in the playoffs, it's going to be a long night for the Broncos, I think. So, there's that. Then the earlier Monday night game is the Steelers taking on the Giants. You know, Daniel Jones is Eli Manning 2.0. We all know that. Saquon Barkley's still there in, you know, New York. But, you know, things are not looking the greatest right now for the Giants because it's going to be rough. It's going to be a rough season. I think it'll be another season of the basement for them, too. Um... You know, the Steelers are, they got Ben Roethlisberger. But, I mean, he just came off of injury that really devastated him. You know, so um, it, it should be easy pickings for the Steelers. So, there's that. And then, and then I believe lastly, but certainly not leastly, my Dallas Cowboys taking on the Los Angeles Rams inside SoFi Stadium for the first time and that stadium is something beautiful let me tell you um, you know Dak Prescott didn't get the contract he wanted I do believe he will eventually get the contract he wants but you know C.D. Lamb is here you know Amari Cooper is still here Mike McCarthy's going to have something he's going to have his head in the offense somehow but Zeke might just run all over you know, the Rams defense. Um, you know, I mean, the Rams got Aaron Donald. 
Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, but I mean, that doesn't really mean anything if the offense does not look great in the offense. Um, it's just Jared Goff out there now. It, it, it's time for Jared Goff to prove himself. You know, everybody else is gone. Gurley, gone. Brandon Cooks, gone. You know, it, it's just going to be, you know, a weird situation for the Rams offense. And I think, you know, now um, the Things are looking better for the Cowboys' defense. And, I mean, yeah, we still have Sean Lee injured, as always. But, you know, Van Der Esch and, and Jalen Smith, you know, those two big linebackers out there. And, you know, Cowboys, Cowboys do have some questions at safety. Uh, but we did sign Brandon Carr, so there's that. But he's on, like, the practice squad right now. So there's that, you know. Um you know, on Sunday night, we'll see what in the world, you know, Rams are looking like. And I know that I think the stadium is going to be empty. And again, most of these stadiums will either have reduced capacity or they'll be empty for, you know, the next couple of weeks or so. And, well, probably all season, but you know what I mean. Um, as COVID continues to ravage the country. So, I think that's every game. I'm not sure. Um... Just want to make sure real quick. I have another tab open. Yeah, that is every game. That is every game for week one. So let me know what you guys think. You know, you know, come on down, comment, share, like, subscribe, do all that. You know, and the NFL is back, baby. The NFL is back. And I am so excited for another season the 101st NFL season and it's going to be a weird rocky year but I think we can do it so see ya